Hi everyone, before we go into the podcast, I just wanted to say thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I'm super grateful for your continued loyalty and support. If you could do me a quick favour, if you could give me a review on Apple Podcasts, it really helps the algorithm and it will help this podcast go up the lists. If there are any subjects or topics that you want me to cover, uh, then please do reach out to me on a DM on LinkedIn and I will do my best to find the best guest for that subject or topic. This is the Absolute Business Mindset Podcast. This podcast will give you insight into business. I will share my thoughts, ideas from content leaders and experiences from life. And I hope you'll have a few aha moments on this journey. Today, I'm going to talk about COVID and where we are now. So I've been thinking about this as a topic to talk to you about for a while now. Um, I haven't spoken a lot about COVID and and what governments have done and and the pros and cons for each government. I'm not going to get into a political uh, dialogue here, but I just want to sort of think about it and sort of share what I'm I'm feeling about this so it's an incredibly hard job to be in the government and be in a government in a pandemic and I have great respect and and I feel sorry for the leaders not just in this country and globally that are having to look after um, us or, or feel they need to look after us but it's not been a, a, an easy time for any of us. Uh, we've all struggled with lockdown um, and not being able to go out. And, and we now seem to be coming to the other end of that with the vaccine. Anyway, in the UK being quite extensively, I think we're 70, 80 percent of people who are fully vaccinated to vaccinations. But we're in this situation where we've got at the moment where um, we've got an app, so if we're going out to restaurants, bars, clubs, whatever, and uh, you, you you put down your details or take a picture of the app, and it pings you if there's someone that has been uh, has got COVID, and it tells you that you have to stay indoors for an isolated period. Just to know, I do not, I'm not a news junkie at all, I just want to put it in here, I'm not following the news daily, I'm picking things up from the news every day, uh, like from a regular source and 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 so i i don't there might be holes in what i'm saying just as a bit of a caveat but people are being pinged and told to stay off work and 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 stay clear and and i'm really wondering whether that's actually necessary they spent a hell of a lot of money on the track and trace like billion pounds to get that up and running and it took absolutely ages to actually get up and running and it it seems to be what they're describing what the government is describing as working but then you move on to the, the, the amber and the amber plus and the red and the green for holidays. And, um, and we as a, um, as a family have been on complete tender hooks on whether we're able to go abroad or where we can go. Is it going to change in the next, while we're out there that you have to then rush home before you, uh, you again goes to amber plus or to red. And I just think, we need some common sense in our government. We need some common sense in our health department and we need common sense in our business department and, and, and the chancellor um, to be able just to think, how is the best way to be able to get this country going again? Now, I actually think that this hybrid working is going to last, is going to be at least for another two or three years, unless something happens that changes that. I think, I think a hybrid working, working from home and, and working uh, from the office is something that's going to happen. And it's going to be quite, uh, quite powerful and it's going to affect the city. Uh, I mean, city of London rather than the city of London. And I think shops like, uh, Pret and eat, which was massive for getting lunches and snacks and coffees and things, are going to really, really struggle. And I think they'll be part of of that sort of industry which will never recover for a long time until we, if we do go back to a full time in the office, which I don't see that happening imminently. So I've just talked about holidays, back to work the 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 pinging with the track and trace app and it just seems that there's not enough common sense being used 
in how we're conducting this. So obviously, if you're in contact with someone with COVID, you need to be able to uh, uh, um, uh, not necessarily isolate. Why don't we just test? Why don't we just test people? It's getting a lot quicker and a lot better to be able to test people quickly with these sort of local ones that can be done quite quite quickly on 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 a little tablet thing that, that tells you whether you're positive or negative for covid why don't we just test people more we've got the availability and why don't we just test on the holidays yeah i get it one of the biggest problems of why covid spread so quickly was because of um holiday people traveling not just holidays but tourism and business travel and it really caused a lot of problems and and that's why it spread so fast and so I, I do understand we just have to be cautious. And to be honest, common sense is really on the public. If we have to spend a summer holiday, your summer holidays in the UK this year, I think we've just got to live with it. And that's just where it's going to be. And common sense has to prevail. And maybe, maybe we'll be able to go later on in the year uh, abroad. But a bit of common sense would be worthwhile just to say, all right, let's just go in the UK. Let's not push the boundaries. Let's not just push not, the pun not intended. Let's just push and, and, and keep everyone safe this year. We still don't know if this COVID is going to be a yearly occurrence like the flu. It's so many unknowns which are still there, although we're learning every day about this virus. And then the third thing about the working from home, well, let's just use some common sense. If most people want to work from home, then why don't we let them work from home? Productivity does not appear to be dropping, uh, uh, dropped through COVID. Uh, we are now in the position where, um, yes, we have to worry about the economy for, as I was talking about, these sorts of uh, shops in, in city centres. Uh, but you do have to wonder um, if people want to work from home. And, and I, equally, people are not wasting their time at home. So I do think this hybrid model might be working very, very well. And and you need to then work out what days you might be in the office and it might be two days a week. Um, And then you choose what the days are. And I think it would be worthwhile every company using common sense and saying, okay, then maybe we spend these, these parts of the business. I'm talking about large companies, large corporates, half the office comes in on Monday or Wednesday, or whatever it is, and the other half come in Tuesday, Thursday, something like that, just to make common sense and make it work for everyone. So I think COVID has been, it's a horrible situation for everyone that's been involved and for leaders. But I think if we can douse this whole situation with common sense, we will get the right outcome and we will get a, an economy rebounding life rebounding into the what we want it to be and a little bit more control from us choosing how we want to live our lives okay guys that was just a bit of a rant i just wanted to share with you on my views on covid at the moment the big caveat that i said earlier on i'm not a news junkie i'm not following every day i keep an eye out for the news just on what's going on and, and especially on covid um so if there are holes in that please do share it with me message me and i'm happy to to sort of have a dialogue with you if you feel that i've completely missed a point or or a certain point of view all right guys thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it